Hello everybody, my name is Jordan Schutz and I currently work at MuleSoft as a developer advocate. And I'm here to show off this really awesome demo I made called the Meme Generator API. And I created this API using MuleSoft's AnyPoint Studio and then Cloudinary, which is an image manipulation and asset uploading cloud service that allows you to basically upload assets to their cloud and then be able to fetch those assets and do image manipulation um, all with simple API calls. So let me show you how this meme generator API works with MuleSoft. So if I type in the text, hello, type, type in the bottom text world and I click submit, you'll see that the browser actually returns me an, an image asset uh, with the text on the top and the bottom, which is really cool. But let's say I actually want to upload my, my own asset. So I just attached a Doge JPEG and I click submit. This will actually upload the image to Cloudinary and then it'll return with Hello World. And I created this API using MuleSoft. So now I'm gonna get into actually how I built this simple uh, API. Now let's go into AnyPoint Studio and look at these flows. So the first flow that we have is the root path. And when a client accesses the root path, it then reads an HTML file that I have uploaded and stored in the resources section in our project folder. And you'll see that we have multiple, we have a form here and we have multiple different fields. One of them is top text, another one is bottom text, and then we have a file field and then a submit button. So essentially when that submit button gets hit, it then triggers the submit flow because we have a post an HTTP post listener that's listening on path submit. And it's listening specifically for post requests, as you can see in the advanced tab. Then we have a variable and payload.parts and then the first array element zero dot content will essentially be this content right here. So this is part zero, this entire part. And then this top part are the headers and then this is the content. So it's going to actually pull out whatever we input in the field, it's going to be stored in the variable. And then we have the bottom text, which same thing, we look at the second part, we grab the content, and then we store that as a variable. So then next we have a choice router, and this choice router essentially chooses between two things. If a file has not been uploaded or has not been put in the form, it'll return null. So if that's the case, if no file has been put in by the end user, what we're going to do is we're going to transform that data and we're going to serve them a static image asset that we've predefined. So in this case, we have a URL here that's max the mule and we essentially split apart this URL by the, the forward slashes. So every single forward slash that you see here will essentially, whatever data is in between it will become a new array element. So that's why we went zero, one, two, three, et cetera. And then in these two variables, top text and bottom text, we encode the variables that were submitted in the form. So whatever we put in the top text form, we encode that as a URI component. And we've actually imported that library here and essentially when we encode that, it makes it into a readable format so that that way when we submit this asset to Cloudinary, Cloudinary can read what the text actually is supposed to be and then serve us back with the correct image. So you can see that we concatenate part of the array here where we add the width and the height of the image. And then we also add the two variables and concatenate that string in the right format. And then we join the string together by the, by the forward slashes like we did, like, like we split them up. So once we do that, and then we send a get request. Essentially, we send the URL as the payload. And so when we do this, let's say we refresh the page and we say hello world again, you'll notice that when we click submit, it serves us with this default image, which is located at this URL that we've defined here. So let's say that we have uploaded a custom image. So the flow looks a little bit different. So we actually keep the output instead of JSON, we use multi-part form data and the file is going to be payload.parts2.content. So you can see that this data here in the form data is all the content. And then we actually are going to have to, with data we've create a custom multi-part form format so that that way Cloudinary can read our request. And so here you can see that we've 
created the upload preset and we've included the headers like name and upload preset and then the content is the upload preset variable here which this is our unique file that we can grab from our Cloudinary account and then file here essentially includes the headers which is the content type which in our case is the JPEG image and then we include the file name and the name file which Cloudinary requires. So once we've set up our multi-part form, we then send a post request to Cloudinary and we hit their API, their upload API, and we send the payload as multi-part. And so when we do that, we'll get returned with a secure URL. And so we, we call this payload.secure URL is the actual part of the JSON where we, where we receive where the URL is hosted on Cloudinary. So when we grab this data, we then transform it similar, similarly to how we did it up here. We grab the URL and we split it up by the, the forward slashes. We encode each URI component. We concatenate that part of the array that we need to concatenate, and then we join it together. And so then when we send the HTTP GET request, we're able to basically submit that by the payload and then we will receive the custom image that we've uploaded. So we, we can show an example of this one more time. We submit the doge, click submit, and then you'll see that uploaded the image and then we were able to get that image back. So that's essentially how we made the meme API. It's, it's really, really easy to create awesome APIs and integrations with MuleSoft. Um, and you can actually see this fully working here in Postman. So if we try to post to that URL meme API, dot cloud hub slash submit um, and let's say we don't want to include a file we can click send and you'll see that we get returned with the photo but let's say we do want to include the file like we did in the previous one we can submit the doge click send and give it a few seconds to upload and we should get returned with the file there we go and that right there, folks, is how easy it is to create your very first API using MuleSoft's AnyPoint Studio. So just to sum up what we learned today, we learned how to take an HTML document and host it on CloudHub. Additionally, in DataWeave, we learned how to submit and format a multi-part form message so that that way an external API can read that, that request and do something with it. Lastly, we learned how to take a string that was returned to us or a URL basically split that into an array and then concatenate a certain value in that array and then join the array together into a string, which then we can use in an HTTP request. So we learned some pretty advanced concepts today, but I hope that you guys understood the video and learned a lot on how, to, how easy it is to create your very first API. Feel free to reach out to us at MuleDev on Twitter if you have any further questions. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.